All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video tonight. Today we're going to get into how Tesla China has dropped the price on the Model 3 and the Model Y. I know this is Tesla China and not the US, but I really feel like you know, pricing changes and strategies happen first in China first. We saw throughout the end of quarter four last year, and it follows suit with America shortly after, especially now that Tom Zhu, head of China Global Sales, or head of China Sales, is now head of Global Sales. So the U.S. is definitely coming soon. And I just calculated how much some of these discounts are, and uh, they're definitely pretty substantial. So we'll take a look at it. But before we do that, let's roll that intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best price on a Tesla at the best possible price or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. We make, what, three to four videos a day now at this point around Tesla content, so definitely hit that subscribe if you are interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description, but more on that later. All right, so let's take a look at this. Shout out to Yan Chang at Twitter on SciFox Cap. We actually took, took a look at this earlier, but quote, Tesla China announced for the price of the new Model S and X, and of course the Plaid, and then quote unquote, uh, it, additionally, Tesla Model 3 and Y also reached its lowest price ever. Tesla has launched a new offensive in China. So here's some of the ads or the pricing stuff. Of course, you know, we could try and calculate this from RMB to the US, but we really don't care about like what the actual price is, right? We just wanna see what the price decreases and that's where we get into troy test likes twitter post so shout out to troy test like you know he's a very avid tesla poster out there as well quote tesla has dropped the prices of its prices in china the model 3 standard range robo drive now starts at 229,900. it was 265,900 rmb from october 24 2022 until now also he adds that 230k yuan is about the same as the byd other competitor seal standard range i love this quote the price war is on tesla is going out so i did the math here i did 265 minus 229 just to see how much of the price decreased Increase that is, and then of course that came out to about thirty-six thousand yuan. If you know my math is correct there, and converted that to the U.S., that's five thousand two hundred and forty-five dollar discount. A five, basically a five thousand dollar discount in the Tesla China market. So. And of course, that's just the Model 3. Jump, I was trying to figure out to see if we could find anything on the Model Y, and this is what I found out. So this is an article from Reuters. It was just like what posted just an hour ago. Tesla cuts prices of China in China for Model 3 and Model Y by up to 13.5%. So this is pretty exciting. Like This is exciting for people that have been sitting on the sidelines like me, waiting and waiting to find the right opportunity to buy. Like I definitely tried to buy during the whole $7,500 craze during this past month, but you know, there wasn't a vehicle that just completely fit the build at the end of the day. But uh, you know, well, okay, well, great. I'm actually cut out from this. But the end of the day, Tesla has dropped the price on the Model 3 and the Model Y by up to 13 and a half percent. And this is, I think this is what it will take. Like Tesla could certainly, like, as much as we give the Treasury and the IRS, you know, you know, crap for you know putting these weird restrictions on e-SUVs or electric SUVs and you know, keeping them under like a 55k sedan price cap if it doesn't have third row or if it doesn't you know have over 6,000 pounds at the same time Tesla could also could also lower their price as well like they you know the Model Y 5C it's 66,000 dollars now but there was a time not that long ago it was way under 55,000 dollars even 49 thousand dollars at the end so you know i'm not saying that tesla should do that i mean they probably are waiting and seeing especially with the irs and the treasury to see if they'll reclassify their e their suvs because you know maki it seems like is also getting shafted in this the cadillac lyric also seems like is not you know being classified as and as an suv so the worst thing they could do is they could change the price under fifty thousand or fifty five thousand dollars and the irs is like oh just kidding like you know you're an suv you can go back up to 80 and then they're not going to knee jerk react and go right Right back up to 65 they would, they would look like assholes like really bad at that point so i can certainly see you know how the prices could get adjusted but i can also see why they're not going to do it 
just right away yet. They want to see kind of what's going to be happening with the IRS and the Treasury to see if they reclassify these vehicles. And maybe if, you know, a month goes by and they still nothing has happened because, you know, it is the government, then they might try and do what they did last time and just give $7,500 discounts across the board or even like start at $3,750 again and then go to $7,500. And then really could, you know, sky is the limit at that point. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let's see if I can uh, get, see if I can read this article. Because I want to get some more into it. Like how much did they actually, okay, here we go. The starting price of the Model 3 was cut to 229,000 yuan or 33,427. Wow, that's that's a lot cheaper than it is in America from 265 and uh the model y was lowered to 259 from 288 so what's 259 yuan let's see two two fifty nine nine hundred now well i guess it, it's really because these vehicles are also produced over there right wow so the model y in china starts at thirty eight thousand dollars holy crap can you imagine if the model y and the model 3 here started at 33 and thirty-eight thousand dollars? what type of market share that's literally half if not like almost half of what the price is now that would be absolutely insane so quote the article the move followed a price reduction in october when tesla cut the prices for those vehicles by nine percent and the company has been offering incentives as much as ten thousand yuan to chinese buyers since september Tesla has delivered 55,000 or 56,000 56,000 China made electric vehicles in December, marking a 44% drop from November and 21% fewer than a year ago. So, this could be a sign of what's to come in America, like these type of discounts, these type of sales drops. And, you know, Tesla, I feel like Tesla could go deep. They might not do it, you know, right away coming in, you know, this first quarter of this year, but they could certainly go pretty deep as we get into later quarter three, quarter four. And so this next quarter four in uh, 2023, I mean, we saw how crazy they got this past month or relatively crazy. They, I mean, they could easily go even crazier, crazier. So let me know what you guys thoughts or predictions on this next year on, you know, Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. I certainly had some predictions on the Model 3 and the Model Y. So this, we actually made this video, what, like two days before the end of the year, you know, some crazy price predictions like Model 3 standard range under 40 and Model Y under 49 or under 50. But, you know, they, I certainly thought they would make a move at this point within the first week of January, but it looks like they're waiting and seeing at this point and Tesla just doesn't want to do any knee-jerk reactions, which I guess may, is smart at the end of the day. But we'll see what this new head of global sales, Tom Zhu, see what he wants to do in the next, you know, in the next few uh, months or weeks because it feels like it feels like Tesla isn't selling any cars right now or at least that's what it feels like to me and I also text a few people but who knows right if you if you have some friends out there if you know or you yourself is taking delivery of a Model 3 standard range I want to hear about it drop it in the comments uh, and let me know because it seems like no one's really buying especially the Model Y segment because let's see I, at this when we checked this yesterday there was above 400 vehicles available for the Model Y Model 3 you know standard range still has demand because they can get the $7,500 tax credit but yeah there's still way above 400 or at least 400 capped model wise available for sale from tesla that are brand new so definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what you guys thoughts on this uh thanks for watching this video check out my patreon down below in the description if you want if you're interested in supporting the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya